Hi everybody! This time we have three tasks. First is to take a picture using the Android phone, then send the picture to the web server and process it, and the third one is to save it on the server and also store its location or path in the database. Ok, so first let's create a new database. I'll name my database tutorial number 3, then create table photos. Here we need three things, ID, it is auto incremented, then name of the picture and also a path to the picture. Primary key is set to the ID. OK. Control plus enter to execute the query. OK, that's all about the database. Now we will create a new PHP project. Inside our project we will put a folder named images in which the images will be uploaded and saved. Then create a new PHP file. I named mine connection.php. OK. We are working with images, so make your content type in header set to bitmap. Let me just quickly explain how this will work. After the image on the phone is taken, we will convert and save the image in the base64 format so that the image can be sent like a string. Here on the server side we will simply decode the string and save it in the image folder. So first let's check in our post method if the encoded string has been transmitted. So, if it has been transmitted, then continue with the execution. Next, create a new variable called encoded string and assign its value to the post value from the post method, of course. Besides the encoded string, we will also provide a name for the image. So, image name equals to post variable called image name. To decode the string just use the standard base64 function so base64 underscore decode. Here we just pass our encoded string as a parameter. Next create a path or location where the image will be saved on the web server. Here I am using images folder that I have previously created. Append it with the image name. So now we have an encoded string and we want to save it as an actual image. To do that we will simply create a new file for writing. As parameters we pass the path to the image as well as the indicator wb saying that we want to write file as a binary. OK, then to actually write to our file call the function fwrite and pass it our file along with the decoded string. Then close the file. Alright, at this point image will be saved on the server. What we want next is to save the path to the database. So first we can check if the file has been written to the server. Our variable is underscore written will be greater than zero if the file has been written. So if, if it is written then we will open a new connection to the database. MySQL connects and I'll type standard XAMPP configuration, localhost, root, blank password and our database name which is tutorial number 3. Create new query for inserting into the database. So insert into photos name 
path values here we type our image name as well as our just created path create a new variable named result and execute query with mysql underscore query function now we will just print out the message if the image path has been successfully saved into the database and simply close the connection in the end okay let's test it using the postman google chrome's extension program in the body we will provide keys and values our first key is encoded string and the second one is our is our image name for the image name let's just type test.jpg and for the encoded string uh, we can't provide encoded code of the image but we can find an online converter and convert it there so let's go to the base 64 online encoder decoder upload our picture click convert and now you see this is our picture encoded in base 64 format we will simply copy all this and paste it in the encoded string value field press send and as you see we have a positive message let's check the web server yeah the image has been uploaded test.jpg also let's check the database yep it is working nicely okay guys so next tutorial we will apply this using android platform so stay tuned bye bye